So banks want to see um, ability to repay. So if you just opened the business and you're trying to max out, you know, you loan the value on your house, they're not going to do it because mm-hmm. uh, there's no surety that you will repay with the new business. All right. Um, so now going into like the rent versus buy. So I always look at there's basically two benefits to owning, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, actually three. So one would be the property growth. So that would be the equity, right? If you're in the Bay. If you're in the Bay, yeah. So we're growing about 5% a year. So if you think about it, an average home price is, seven, let's call it 700000 which is yeah. probably conservative. That's right. literally $35,000 a year mm-hmm. in growth, right? It's a, it's a good question, Bernie. I don't yeah. mean to cut you off. We're going to get to that, I promise. Bernie says, I generally want your opinion on renting versus investing. Uh, kind of similar. I think by investing, she means buying. So back to the three, I apologize. Cut you off. Yeah, so, so the property growth is one. Um, of course, it's not guaranteed, but uh, if you look at year-over-year year average in our area, that's typically what it is. Um, now, the second benefit is you do get some tax benefits for you know property, um, the interest on your mortgage, property taxes, things like that. That's a big one people um, miss. Big, right? So like, yes, your mortgage payment is higher than, than whatever your rent would be, mm. but after the deductions. savings and the deductions, yeah, yeah, they usually tend to not always break out to the same, but you can get yourself pretty close. Okay. So let's call it just as an example, a $4,000 mortgage payment. Mm usually nets out to the same about a three thousand uh, dollar a month in rent right so um, I'm, flip, I'm flipping Daniel's phone over he's had about four clients call him since we've been talking <laughs> and I don't want him to use this as, an, as a way to kind of short but keep going okay so that's one uh, and then the last the last piece actually is the the best piece right so like if you pay three thousand dollars a month in rent mm-hmm. you're never going to see any of that money back true where in mortgage you're actually paying a percentage of your payment to pay off the home. Yep. So I it, guess what, yeah. Pranay, your landlord is taking your rent and, and paying off and paying property. off the mortgage on the property. Yeah. Uh, and I just realized he pretty much just answered your questions, uh, Pranay. And my question is, why not that be you, right? You're putting your hard-earned money towards that. When that place is completely paid off, you might move on to the next one, Pranay. But at least then you can rent that out, right? And and have um, somebody else. Uh, hop in, right? Well aware, she says. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, th- I mean, that's essentially it. But people get caught up in that. Oh, but there's risks. If I buy the house, I have this. Then, 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 then that's fine. You can play it safe in that way. But uh, essentially, well, if, you have no chance renting, right? Yeah, you're. You have no. And your rents and your rents can go up with your landlord, right? right. 